So, of course, today it's a beautiful topic that was given to me. Uh, it's about the unique dynamics and uh, I feel, of course, quite familiar with that one. I feel like uh, I can relate to this topic very much. And I love it because dynamic, it's all about expressiveness of the movement, the expression of the movement. And I planned, uh, I, had, I have a plan of what to do with it. But for me, for sure, the, the, what is beautiful about dynamic is that it's about the, the person. So about each in the individual, so each and every one of you. And first of all, before we can get a bit more into the sense of dynamics and the, the, the options in dynamics, I need to, as a person, I need to activate myself. I need to be on. I need to be present and here to communicate. So of course, now I talk about myself, but for each individual person, you have the different capacities or different uh, styles or different um, abilities to get yourself on. But for me, what's very important is that I need to be a bit more in myself, in touch with my body to actually really communicate and be ready to, to switch my dynamics and to clearly have a clear intention on dynamics. So the number one that I feel is quite important for me is my breath, how I use my breath in terms of senses, the inner and the outer breath. So even to activate that breath, because we breathe, but we not necessarily are conscious about how the breath and maybe the movement has an organic flow, has a, 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 has a communication. So do I have followed the affinity breathing to follow that stretch, breathe to bend. So we could nicely follow the affinity and naturally when I breathe in, the movement open. When I breathe out, the movement close. Breathe in, open, breathe out, close. So to follow a bit the affinity of the movement and its natural flow and its natural affinity with the breath. So to activate your breath, even if it's too bad, to feel a bit for yourself, you actually need to give it a good breath out. And then maybe hold a little bit more that breath. And then that breath maybe tightens the muscles, so it becomes a little bit stronger in muscles. And then let it go. So to actually be a bit more active in the breath, number two would be the touch for me. I need to, in order to be present and to be on, I need to feel that I'm actually in touch with the touch. So the sense of touching, even here I'm talking to you, but I'm feeling a bit my floor, it's concrete, so it's a little harder. So maybe to connect, to press away from that, to breathe to that floor a bit more and to sense that touching of the floor with my feet. Am I touching with the ball of the foot and pressing and then it becomes a soap and it's touching a bit lighter with a sense of, uh, of, of softness of the, of the toe. So I'm touching with the toe. Or am I a bit more into my heel? So is it a little bit more actually connecting to that and feeling a bit? And of course we're touching different body parts internally, but also externally, touching the space, to feel a bit in touch with the space. So I'm touching the space to the camera, or I'm touching the space above, or I'm pressing the space below me. Oh. So to connect a little bit more to the touch and to be a bit more aware of what am I touching in a way, even if I'm not touching anything, usually we have a partner, but my Bob is not here. <laughs> illusionary Bob, maybe my illusionary Bob that I'm touching, or I would rather say Ronaldo <laughs> or Leo, but uh, anyway, illusionary partner would be the space here. So I'm touching that space and the tightness of the holding of the muscle. Is it letting it go? Is it pressing that space? Is it holding gently, becoming a lighter feeling? So actually the touch can get me already a little bit more here, present and on, sorry. And so the breath is number one, the touch is number two, to activate that touch. And number three would be of course my focus to get here present and to actually see a little bit. Where am I in that way? I've done many lectures this year. We're coming to the end of the year and I feel like I've been in this hall, in this hall, I will say hall, in my hallway <laughs> forever. And actually can, can, it could get quite predictable and stale. So to re, 
energizing, to reactivate. I'm here looking at you, smiling maybe with my breath and feeling my floor and feeling the light on the right and the board there and the ceiling up. So to feel a bit more in touch with here, with this space and sense not only what, what uh, who I'm talking to, so not only the front, but I'm looking at you and I'm touching that floor and I'm breathing out. <sighs> to breathe in, to stop and stretch my arm, to maybe close my feet and feel I'm still connecting there with you, but I'm also in touch with my body. So that multiple awareness, I think is quite essential for me. Multiple awareness of my senses would be really quite a thing that brings me on. And that's a very personal thing that I always do before any, and I used to do before any competitions or any practices. I needed to feel a bit more <laughs> ready in touch. And that was starting with the number one, which is me. Before I could get into the movement or my partner, my number one, myself, I needed to actually feel that I'm on, ready here. And I don't necessarily have to look at you. I could have an inner focus, but I'm aware that you're looking. <laughs> and now maybe I look and I breathe out to stretch my arm forward and turn away, still looking <laughs> to look away, but please you're at my back, yeah? So a bit of that, that to actually be on in that way. So I've done it for you, so hopefully that's something you can do every single warming up or something, or anything you need to actually get ready for something, even a performance, a show, uh, even a speech, to actually stay in touch with the self, with the person self. So this is how already I would communicate even in terms of dynamical qualities because the fundamental basic principle of dynamic, let's say, is that it's all about the opposition. So if there is a light, there is a heavy. If there is a strong, there is a soft. So the opposition is quite a nice feel because in terms of the weight, of the weight for example, lightness deals a bit more with the upper space, heaviness, and uh, strongly a bit more bleh, in the middle, a sense of pull, a bit more tension in the muscle. And soft could be a little bit more related to, so, to the skin, even to dance the skin, to dance through the skin, <sighs> or the muscles, to dance through the muscles, or to dance with a lighter, a feathery feeling, or <sighs> heavier, connected to gravity. So in terms of weight, there is quite a big opposition. Uh, that, that is the number one quality of dynamics. So the easiest way to remember the principle, basic principle of dynamics is to remember the word West, W-E-S-T. West for weight, how I use the weight, and this already in itself is nice because it has quite clear oppositions. Number two, it's all about the energy. And the energy is also a very, very important one, a nice one because yeah, because it's quite exciting, I would say. So holding something, caring for something. So it's nothing to do with being light. It could be quite strong, but I'm holding the energy. I'm more holding, bounding my energy, or releasing and holding again to release. Uh, yeah, so holding connects a little bit more to the, again, the inner part of the body. Of course, I can look out, but I hold or look out still, but relax the energy, release. So the opposite would be hold and release, which has a clear opposition. The third one, it's all about the space, but not so much the space externally, the space that my body uses. So am I straight in space, so direct, boom, which could be quite nice, even in specific body parts. So I put the hip back, boom, side forward, chin up, even arms and straight. Straight, 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 boom, straight, straight, that direct and be slow, 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 but it has a sense of line, direct line to the movement. So very direct and, and line, linear. Uh, how flexible would be, even in relation to body parts, could be a nice progression from one body part to another, from the hip to the chest, to the arm, to the thigh, to the leg. 
for example, so how it progresses out there and then maybe back in there. So it has a sense of continuous progression from one body part to another body part. Yeah? So I hope you got that. So it has a connection from one and it's all a little bit more flexible, flexible in space. So not direct, whoop, now I'm coming up, not direct but flexible, which yeah is quite a, a nice dynamic too. And the last one about the time, and again the opposite, if there is fast, there is slow, slow. So fast and slow, fast and slow. Of course the opposition from fast to slow is nice. So, what is quite important about it is to know the options, of course, and one of the things is to play with the clear op opposition in that. So to switch a bit more, and here I'm a bit more slow, slow, fast, slow, slow, fast. So for example, that we actually have clear opposite, opposite, uh, opposite field, opposite quality, or from flexible, flexible, direct, a bit more. So to really clearly fit. So that's one thing about the shift of one dynamic to another, which we're gonna work on that a little bit. But the most uh, attractive or exciting part for me would be, it's not so much the shift, but a little bit more the transition. How it's, the beauty in the transition, how it becomes maybe from a light feeling, becoming and passing through soft, getting stronger into heavy and from heavy to strong into soft into light so the transition from one dynamic to another and not necessarily the opposite but how from the from strong becoming a little softer and then maybe lighter it's a very very the a small subtle change even from soft which deals a bit more uh, with skin feeling to light, which deals a little bit more with, with the weight. Of course, soft is part of weight, but soft deals a bit more with the touch, I would say, and the skin. And light is deals a bit more with how you hold that weight. So of course, uh, in order to be light, you have to have a sense of holding energy. And naturally, you, could, you naturally would breathe in a little bit more. To becoming maybe softer, hold. Maybe softer, maybe heavier, maybe stronger, into lighter. <laughs> yeah? So the transition of one movement and one dynamic into another dynamic. It's a nice one because it gives the, the shades, the few shades of the shades of gray, the different shades, not only the black and the white, but the in-between as well, which is very intangible. But I really think this is a nice, uh, for me, a beautiful one to feel that sense of transition. And nothing of course is possible without this breath again. Like I said, so do I want to consciously start with heavy? So a bit more into my work. Heavy, now maybe I'm starting to feel a bit softer, getting stronger, into lighter. Into to then stop and then get a little bit more like that. So that it's not just one way, it's the experience, I think, of the process of those change of dynamics. So of course I'm now playing a bit with weight, but there is of course speed as well. How from maybe super fast you become a little slower and then it stop. And from the stop you become lighter, into becoming heavier, 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 and pick it up a little bit lighter again. So, yeah, so it can gradually have a flow as well, gradually have a, a progression in the change of dynamics. So this is the first thing for me, it's not only about the opposition, but also about the transition, how one dynamic uh, um, transfers or channels into another dynamic. Yeah, so even if I would do it uh, into some basic step 
So like, a, for example, a heel twist and a crooked arch that can be swivel for this for now. We'll do this for now. So to start a little bit intentionally, what do I want? You are first need to breathe out, to sense light. <laughs> Suddenly, stop. <laughs> Just playing a little bit for you, but to see a bit how the rhythm might change and the dynamic could change naturally. Not so naturally, intentionally, I would say. Intentionally. And in terms of times as well, I would just like to add, of course, we have quick and slow, but there is also this sense of time, which is an intention. Do I consciously want to be a bit early? Consciously want to be a bit delayed in that step? To be a bit early and then maybe later. So to feel a little bit, am I delaying the set? Am I a bit early on that time? Am I right on the foot? Take it, 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 take Which then is a little bit maybe more flexible. Take it, take it, take it. Am I a bit early? A bit lighter. And getting slowly, getting heavier. Getting a bit stronger. Yeah. So to feel. I want to delay there and feel that I'm actually in that path there, pressing away. Delay, still on time. So, and took it, took it, took it, took it, took it, took it, took a bit early. Zap, uh, uh, and a bit heavier. Yeah? So, for now, this will uh, be enough. I'm, I'm going to give you a small routine briefly so we have some material to work on and then the idea of course for me always is that we implement immediately those uh, different expressions to the steps so that the, but the first thing is about it's my decision about it so I need to have a clear set of mind that I intentionally want to focus on me and my intention of those dynamics to the step if that makes sense so it is not so much about the step and the, and the function of the step so much, but what kind of dynamic do I want to, to say? And is it intentionally light and a bit more intellect and thinking about something? Is it intentionally a bit more flexible and in the feeling zone, a bit more the horizontal zone? Or is it intentionally a decision, yeah, I go there in that space, a little bit more fast, direct? Yeah, so for example, um, I'm going to back you and I stay on the left and we do it quite quick so it's not so much about the steps but just we have some material so we go two, three, four and two and three and four with a standing spin to the left, two, three, four and now we go in three quarter turn with a forward walk turn and ending and a close of the left. Yes, I repeat. So. For now, you want to feel everything a little bit more progressive, maybe more slow, flexible, to feel a sense of progression from even the, the, the ball of the foot, the hip, the thigh rotating, the chest stretching, the arm, the thigh coming to it. And now the feeling of that dynamic, in that lightness, and heaviness, breath. Walk, walk, forward, walk, turn, walk, walk, forward, walk. And the last one is a bit of a check. So we're going to check that step and prepare our upper body a bit. And we're going to do, we could do just half a turn. I'd like to pimp it up. A little bit, so I think it's two and a half. Was that in here? So, yeah, it's actually two, one, two and a half. Turn so that we're gonna do. We end up, so it's a spiral turn. So, we have quite a big preparation here, and we go one, two, stop. We're still on the right leg, so you can stop up, stop down, or come down, up, and then we're gonna do shiny turn. When I spin, step, turn, 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 with a final 
uh, side walk and a hip rotation. Side walk, hip rotation. Yeah? So this could be half a time. And then, then you have a long stretch. Two. Da, 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 da. And here it could also be just two times. Two and three and four and one and. Yeah? So we could take it like this. So if I just do the timing for now. Two, three, four and one and two and three, four and two and three and four and two and three and four and two, three, four and one and two and three and four and one and two, three, four and so here half the time, two, three, four two and three and four and one and and one and and then we do half a turn back to the front and back cross so zigzag so we come and side close step so we come here yeah? so and side close step yeah uh, and then we actually start from the beginning two three four to close yeah so now, but I'd like to have here actually, if possible, because, you know, it's WDC, so come on, everyone is super high level. And so anyway, so everybody could do two and a half lap of turns. That is that, is that, with a big preparation stretch. Two and three and four, and here also two and two turns, three, two step. So we're doing here two turns, and that, that. And what's quite important after you arrive here, rotate your hip. Now try to imagine that the turn actually, the, the knee, the thigh is actually turning already to the front. So the first part that really gives you the momentum is the leg. So it's not so much the upper body. Yeah, sorry, no, not the, yeah. Yes, yeah. ah, ah. so it's a bit like uh, if you were to do a pirouette, this leg, sorry, has to already open. So the first part is not, uh, is not here, it's already there. Yeah, I'm talking and doing, so that's not the best options. But if you could feel here that you actually already have that sense of using the thigh, rotating the right thigh very much. So I'm just gonna do it now a little bit more facing you probably and sense my own take on dynamics. So it would be to be in touch a bit with the dynamics. So if I do it very slowly, to be in touch in every step with the dynamics. So am I a bit heavier now, sensing that it becomes softer with a breath and breathe out. To hold that breath, to, to hold it and be tighter again. And fast, maybe, fast, relax. So, yeah. And maybe slow, continue. So, slow, control, rotate. Till I decide, close. And now, maybe the walk, actually, gradually breathing out. Gradually breathing out as I keep my rotation of the hips. A little bit lighter, more hope, getting so really to hold my muscle, to stop my breath, to tighten the muscle, and then keep that stretch active. So even the stretch here is not just releasing the energy, I continue to progress into the next lunge. So I stop, stretch, keep that control as I lunge, stretch, yeah, heavier, yeah, 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 yeah. So it has to be progressive in a way, the way you transit from one dynamic to another one and it's quite important. So I'm going quite fast here. 
because the plan was to also do it a bit in cha-cha and to add one more thing. So before I do it with music, I want to add my third perspective on dynamic, which is a bit more the combination. I'm already a bit doing this, but in terms of effort, the effort that I make in a step, am I pressing? Do I press? So even to feel, I press myself away from something. So I press my foot and my left side forward, away from each other. And I press my foot down with the ball and then the heel. And I rotate my spine forward and I press my chest forward. To then transfer, press, press, and press. So we could imagine as well as pressing the space, pressing the space in front, pressing that space. Pressing the space above, pressing the space below, pressing a bit away from something, I press away from something, or I pull myself to something. It's a different dynamic. I press is a little bit more tight, a bit stronger. I pull is maybe more holding, holding and pulling internally, becoming lighter, and then maybe I slash. <laughs> So even this could be a nice combination to press, to hold, to slash, to back, and then to dab. So different um, efforts that my body makes to punch, for example, boom, slap, punch with different body parts. So I might do that, my three quarter turn here, and I press a bit my energy forward in that space, and now maybe I slash, and then to ring internally, to punch with my leg, and relax to become heavy. So pressing into, um, pressing into pulling, into slashing, into punch, gives it quite a strong visual, uh, visual effect or visual look, let's say. Yeah, slash, also nice as well, just some ideas after you punch, sorry, after you punch something to become dab, a dabbing. So it has a light feathery feeling, quite a difficult one to slash the body, to relax the energy, so to punch, and lightness of dab, like a dab feeling, dab. Dab, a bit of a light energy, yeah? So that could be quite nice. But now I dab, and then maybe I ringing internally, yeah? So ringing, ringing, a very characteristic one for, for the Roomba, which gives it flexibility, that sense of squeezing from ringing maybe, but at the same time pressing some, something. So pressing out, but ringing internally, squeezing. So that pressing projects out in space. It gives it a more spatial projection. That slashing gives a kinetic energy. And that punching is quite uh, decisive, quite an attacking look. So of course different dancers had their own affinities. I remember Donny, he's very much, he used, I mean he was his, probably still now, but he had this energy that you couldn't miss it because he was there. It was very much about the doing, very much I go, I do, I do, I do. It was like such a power and such a, an impressive energy to have this punching. And that's purely because he was, of course, very aware of that, and that was uh, such a strength that other dancers, they maybe don't have that when they are a little bit maybe more floaty or a little bit more dabbing. Uh, you know, naturally ballet dancer, a little bit more up and, uh, and, and floating and light. Salsa dancer, ooh, a little bit more here, down to the earth. So a little bit more free and flexible into the feeling plane. And our style, of course, is a combination. We need a sense of posture, so the dynamic of the posture is a bit more formal and very much controlled, but at the same time, with a sense of breath and energy of that 
step that it has a pushable feeling and with some sense of energy to it as well. So not only power and energy, but a combination is, uh, is that what it is. And some dancers have stronger things than others, but it's quite nice to be aware of it. Where are you in a sense of energetical plane? So am I all the time in the feeling plane? Or am I all the time in the thinking and holding plane? So you dance, but it's all a bit distant. Or are you all the time in that forward plane? So to feel maybe quite nice. I'm in my feeling. Now I'm thinking. And I'm I'm doing that stuff. Thinking. Even to from doing to thinking about it. To do, do it. Thinking. Doing it. From the doing, so the attacking plane, the sense of sagittal plane, forward and back, to the thinking plane, a little bit more holding in energy and the feeling plane, a little bit more horizontal in energy. So that's again another aspect of dynamic that deals with energy, not only holding and releasing, but how could you have a transition in those three energetical planes. So I'm gonna try it a bit for you with music now on that little combo. And I'll put different music, so. Maybe that one. A bit slower, deep that one is. Don't know if you hear it so much. Because that's super slow. Yeah. But the part would be to intentionally make a decision now. Now I want that. Now. And then we're ready. Ready to press. To the range. decision before the step so there is no doubt in my mind or less thinking in some ways because I say it, I'm not actually judging myself and that's very very difficult because we all have this we all struggle with this of course feeling judged and feeling maybe slightly not good enough or whatever goes through the mind even while you do it and to bypass those uh, fears or those thoughts, for me what helps is that I need to, before I make a step, make a decision. Doesn't matter what decision, just make one. <laughs> that was always useful. Of course, that has to be a decision related to the dancing, preferably something that I have practiced. So it's not suddenly out of nowhere a decision that doesn't relate to my step, but something that de deals a little bit more with me and that deals with what do I want to say in my movement, yeah? And even that pressing and that floating and that punch, 
Dabri, it's a show. It's to become that. It gives me immediately a little bit more control of the step, over the step, and decision making. And uh, yeah, so that's really quite a big thing for me. So if I carry on, because the main really thing uh, that I'd like to work on and come to is the next thing about the music, not only my, myself, my movement. And, and the dynamic of it, but how do I relate to the music? So the use of mood, the mood of the music, the mood that, that music radiates to me, or that the music is pierced in me, is piercing in, inside of me. And that's of course quite external, but to be a little bit more uh, active in receiving this information. So different music have their own again dynamic. One is a bit more slow and maybe deep and, and, and down, and another one is maybe a little lighter and melodical and up and higher, and another one is a little more deep, <laughs> maybe, yeah? So every music has their own sense of feel and mood and atmosphere. And how do I deal with this? What do I say to this? And that's really quite a very nice one to go into because it again deals with you and your personal decision to it. So I like this idea of to not only match the music, which, we, which used to be very important and it has its very strong strength as well. We interlock with the music very much that the movement and the music says the same thing. So it's nearly a visualization. My movement is a visualization of what the music says. So if the music is saying this, I'm doing this as well. If the music is saying, uh, a drama, uh, you know, like a ah, and I do that too. If the music is happy and I'm happy, if the music is sad and I'm sad, <laughs> no way. So to match and to imitate nearly the music, that used to be very much the thing, really, the approach. But now, of course, it's a little bit more abstract sometimes. So to see it a bit as a statement to the music, interplaying a bit more with what the music says and how do I relate to that. So even if the music is up and light, and I could be even slower than the music, heavier than the music, faster than the music, lighter than the music. Light music is light, but I'm even lighter. So that could be. <clears throat> something that, that could even be the intention. So to, um, but to state it a little bit more, to make your movement, your dynamic more important than the music one in some ways and to play a little bit with that. Sometimes it is that I consciously go, so it gives me that clear, I understand this is what the music gives me. So even if I do it still in the rumba, a little longer, um, for example, that one is a bit more maybe dramatic to me. I mean, at the beginning it had this sound of the people, so maybe to not have it, I'm quiet. And now maybe I want to go with that. And maybe a bit lighter and free.
I take this one because I don't know if you hear it so well, but to me when there are when there is a sound of a voice, it, it can be quite empowering. So it's a bit harder as a dancer to find yourself in that because the voice is taking over. So what do you where are you in relation to that? And sometimes it is to consciously ignore it or consciously add something to it. Yeah, so another uh, music that is maybe a bit lighter for me, in my opinion, and we all perceive it differently, so that's how I feel it. But that one is a bit lighter for me. It is piano. with the music as well your dynamic your relationship the relationship of your movement and the intention of your movement to this music which requires of course to first acknowledge a little bit and that is very much to do not only with the music with the space you're in is it a crowded space do i need to be a little bit more aware but at the same time i don't want to be too tight so can i be free in here in this space i'm talking on the competition floor or is it um is it very big do i need to still stay a little bit more active with my with the progression of my body and what i do so it's always it's not only what you do but how you relate to what you do in relation to to what you hear and what you see so that's why i feel the sense of breath gets me a bit more in touch with me here in order to see where am I, who is where, and then to hear as well and, and to react to that sense so by, by actually touching a little bit, to touch the music, to touch my movement. So I make a statement to the music. To the, to the, to the music. So yeah, I think uh, I want to do a bit of a faster take because I think it's enough of the rumba for now. So a little cha-cha feel, so we shift, because I like shifting. <laughs> Don't know about you, you're not there, so you can't say yes or no. Um, but yeah, so cha-cha, of course, it's a different... Oh. My computer says Blackpool, so I think that's Blackpool it is. So of course, cha-cha has a bit of a different mood immediately. And even if I talk about this playing with the mood and uh, my, my interlocking and my interplaying to this music, how do I relate to it? Naturally, cha-cha has this kind of gestural, sharp, isolated, quite 
direct feel. So wow, a bit of also a sense of flexible, could be nice floating through that music for a while. Uh, or adding woo, a little bit freer, woo, or finding the space for maybe delay and pressing. So that's a bit where I like to go in this cha-cha too. Not only that you feel that you just have to follow all the time, but how do you connect with your dynamic to the music? So if I give you, uh, first of all, this music, I hope you hear it. That's a very traditional one. And of course, quite For music but each music have their own sense of character and feel and it doesn't mean that you have to be infected by that you could still have a clear statement that is different than the music and that is quite nice because I feel that naturally you want to follow a bit or it's so empowering that it's hard to still be there or the tempo is so fast that you get a little bit back behind it or it's taking over your stuff. So another, for example, feeling. So this would be one thing, for example, that music is light and up and a bit, a bit whole. And I go zoom down and relax and a bit more forward. And I then change the mood by adding, having fast, having slow, letting it go, slash, to hold and up and press through that music, press through that music. So, um, the na another one we all know, of course, black one, but I think I will give another one first. Yeah, that one. This is already nice because it's a nice one. It's got, it's got a beat, but it has also a bit of a slow and a bit of a contrast. So it has tap, tap, tap. So even if it's a good beat, still that you are a stronger than or more in, in, in control of what the beat is, the, the, the music is, let's say. Yeah, so, well, I mean, it's hard because no reaction and uh, I feel a little crazy doing all this stuff here on my own talking to no one. But for me, this is a really nice because this dynamic, of course, makes you a bit more present or gives you a bit more presence to be on, to switch myself on, to be here, present, to communicate. We are here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Thanks. Um, to be, to be, to be able to communicate is that you have to be, for me, quite in touch with yourself. Number one, to activate your your body, to activate your senses. Very much about the mind, even to get out of your mind and get a bit more down into your body. And that sense of breath already helps. And then to activate it in the muscles, the muscle using of energy, holding maybe, tightening a little bit more muscle squeezing or releasing or a ringing feeling to my movement or a smashing or a dabbing. So even in that step, I dab or a press, yeah? So yeah, I have to see my I think I will try to do that Roomba again, 
by myself, of course. But uh, not so much for me. The challenge, of course, is the way as I've done this so many times is to be still able to shift myself into a state of a new energy, a new moment, a new time, and being right here and now in this uh, moment to actually cook it fresh for you. As my coach, my love, my love Ruth, used to always tell me, you have to cook it in the moment, just like you're cooking pasta, or I don't actually cook, but I could imagine that when you cook and you are good at it, you're so in the moment and you know exactly what to put when and how and how much, and you have the right feel and the right instinct. And that dancing is the same, really. It's nothing to do with what you've practiced so much before. You can have the most amazing practice. It's still the last seconds before you walk on that floor and even when you stand on that floor, that you actually now make that decision, I'm gonna do this and that's gonna be my statement, I'm gonna own it with my own, with my whole dedication and commitment. So that's what I'm gonna do right here, right now for you in the room, I'm gonna try. So let's have a go. And I'm gonna play with this attitude to time, to energy, that I am a bit more shifting and sometimes gradually progressing. Not uh, cha-cha, I think I'm using Roomba slow Roomba, okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna put this number. I don't know if you hear, but... Um, yeah, that was good. Okay. So... quiet they won't hear a thing so all these things was in my mind of course and that's the thing that we need to as dancer you need to try and bypass second one of course I felt a little bit more uh, yeah the, uh, strong about actually the music and stuff so sometimes the external thing not sometimes very often the external thing can kill you or help you in some way but it's more how you deal with it so hopefully it was a bit clear about this dynamic. I would, I would say not only the opposites, but the transition I like very much and, and the, the combination through the effort of press, pull, <laughs> slash, but very much to state it a bit more from yourself and be busy with that right in, the, in each and every steps rather than only with the action maybe or the timing. So hopefully you had some inspiration or something that you can go home and practice because that's the main point of course in this time 
we are, uh, of course, all a bit in the same boat and it's not easy to keep ourselves motivated. And I really, truly wish you all the very best and that you keep that motivation and that in internal motivation going no matter what goes on. Keep dancing, you know. And for 2021, a much better year, I'm sure. So wishing you all the very, very best. And thank you, Mirko, for the beautiful words. <laughs>